The new Monster Hunter Wilds trailer released today at Gamescom, and oh boy, does it look amazing. I can't wait to get into it with you guys. We're going to go ahead and hop into a deep dive of everything that we saw, as well as some new information released by Capcom that was not in the trailer. We open with a group, including our hunter, approaching a monster's nest. A Lala Barina floret is pointed out by the Hammer Lady, who is named Olivia. She and her palico Athos are a part of the Forbidden Lands Research Commission, who will be a key part in the story here in Monster Hunter Wilds. Lala Barina is the name of a new monster which we'll see in a second. The area we find ourselves in now is the Scarlet Forest. This has been announced as an entirely new map, making it the second map we know of in Wild so far. According to Capcom, quote, The Scarlet Forest, a newly revealed locale in the Forbidden Lands, is a lush setting with towering greenery contrasted by the waters dyed a crimson hue. Like the other ecosystems in Monster Hunter Wilds, the Scarlet Forest is a dynamic environment that undergoes periods of plenty, inclemency, and fallow that transform the landscape and wildlife residing within it. The Scarlet Forest can be reached by following the river found in the Windward Plains. The Lala's Nest is absolutely stunning with the beautiful red flowing silk, and amongst this silk we get to see the new spider monster whose equipment was featured in the Charge Blade overview. Lala Barina, a brand new Temnoceran, starts out in a white and fuzzy stage. She's got some mean looking wolverine claws on her, I'd hate to be on the receiving end of those. Her moveset seems to be very quick and jumpy, with a massive needle piercer attack landing on the hunter. Lala then seems to go into a rage mode, where she transitions from white and fuzzy to this awesome looking blood rose design. A quick bite attack leaves our hunter paralyzed, and I'd absolutely hate to see what those big claws will do to him next. We finally get a first good look at a turf war between Lala and Doshaguma, and it looks like Lala's coming out on top in this one. They show us a feature returning from Sunbreak, which is NPC Hunter Helpers. Olivia is showcased as the only one so far, but I'm sure there will be more with time. We knew that this would be returning, but this is the first footage we've seen of it. The dual blade attack chains are looking amazing. We get to see demon mode blade dance, but it looks like it can now either swap to different attacks or be chained into new attacks. These little white flashes during the blade dance give me the impression that new inputs are being pressed, so potentially we could be looking at having to time inputs to allow for a longer and more damaging blade dance, but that's just a theory. Next is a showcase of Kunafa, a settlement set up deep within the Windward Plains. This will be our main base as we explore the Windward Plains. Kunafa is also known as the Windsong Village, and it is the home of our mounted buddies, the Secrets. We see some Palico vendors and an elderly lady who speaks to us about taking shelter, as the sands come alive this time of year. This most certainly is alluding to the changing seasons that we know we will be getting in Wilds, and the next monster can actually only be found during this season, which is known as the Sand Tide Inclemency. We finally get an up-close look at the Windward Plains' apex monster, the Ray Dao. Ray Dao is a powerful flying wyvern that rules over the Windward Plains as its apex. The color scheme is so good, the moves are looking strong, Everything about this monster is just screaming that I'm going to be using his layered armor for the entirety of Wilds. We get the guild's permission to start the hunt, and we're off. A massive crushing wing attack with a lightning burst is the first move. This looks like it's pretty well telegraphed and should be pretty easy to punish. A head stab with another lightning burst is next. This is looking really crisp. We then see a sort of flipping and looping attack that leads into a wing blade slam. This is kind of reminiscent of Valstrak's wings extending when he slams them down, or at least that's what it reminded me of. As Ray Dao powers up, he's looking even more badass, if that's possible, and we get to see a bit of what we saw in the last trailer, with his horns or pincers coming together to form a sort of railgun, firing off a massive and powerful lightning strike that literally melts the sand into fulgurite. Fulgurite occurs when sand is struck by lightning and becomes so hot that it melts, explodes, and hardens in a very short period of time. That should give you an idea of just how powerful Ray Dao is going to be. Next, Lala Barina comes back, and we get to see the hunter take her on with the switch axe from the weapon overview, as well as a hunting horn user in the background. 
Since it's the same basic bone set from the Hunting Horn overview, my guess would be that this is not an NPC hunter helper, but rather a co-op hunter. This is further shown in the next few clips. We get to see Hammer and Sword and Shield beating up on Dosha Guma, followed up by our Palicos deploying a tent. These are brand new pop-up camps, great name by the way, they literally pop up, and we can set these up around the open world. The setup and style is looking absolutely incredible. You'll be able to change your equipment, change your items, you'll be able to fast travel to and from these bad boys. This is also where you'll return after carding, so placement for these will be crucial, as only a limited number of these pop-up camps can be set up in a locale. This is getting me so damn hype, I need wilds in 2025 to get here tomorrow. The Gilly Mantle is returning, great news for world enjoyers. Hopefully this means that we'll have some new mantles, as well as some returning favorites, in wilds as well. This seems to lead into a focus strike where the monster hasn't noticed the hunter, again due to the ghillie mantle. We did see in the Great Sword overview a focus attack on Doshaguma, where it seemed that he hadn't noticed the hunter yet, so this pretty much confirms that we'll be able to open up hunts with high damaging focus attacks on monsters that haven't noticed us yet. The Palico tank is coming back in wilds, so this has got me hoping that we'll have another host of cool Palico abilities to unlock and try out in various situations. We are then shown three hunters, one using Charge Blade, one using the new Longsword Flurry attack move, and one using Heavy Bowgun. These guys are squaring off against Doshaguma. We are then treated to a bow focus strike on Balahara, showing as well some support from a Hunting Horn Hunter and a Gunlance Enjoyer. Next is what finally looks like a power clash that isn't against Doshaguma, with Sword and Shield pushing off a Chatacabra while Greatsword charges up a massive blow. We did potentially have a Chatacabra clash in the Gunlance overview video, and this more or less confirms that. We do have some more information on power clashes. They will require you to go all out to push the monster back, and will guarantee a stagger if done successfully. We also now know that some weapons will have something called an offset attack, where if a weapon attack clashes with a monster attack at the same time, the offset attack will send the monster reeling, allowing for you to follow up with a unique attack. We have seen quite a few of these in the weapon overviews, so be sure to head over and check out my shorts on each of the weapon overviews to see more of these offset attacks. We get some nice scenic shots, followed by the secrets carrying our hunter off into the Windward Plains. As some nice fan service at the end, we get a look at the new cooking cutscene in Monster Hunter Wilds. The food is looking super tasty, I can't wait to absolutely obliterate it, but only ever eating for attack up large. We also now know that the portable barbecue grill is coming back, and you'll be able to use it to cook up steaks while out exploring the locale. So that's everything new in the new Monster Hunter Wilds Gamescom trailer. If you did enjoy or learn something new, be sure to leave a like on the video to support my channel entirely for free, and definitely subscribe for tons more Monster Hunter Wilds content. My channel will be the best place to find guides, tutorials, sets, hidden facts, and much, much more, so you definitely don't want to miss out, and subscribing is the best way to make sure you see every upload. With all that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I wish you all a good day, and happy hunting.